<sighs> okay, I will level with you. Um, I kind of fell off the wagon this week. Um, and really my body's kind of paying for it, to be honest with you. Um, I think the biggest reason why is because I just didn't have a lot of money. Um, like I mentioned in my last video, my paycheck was kind of small this week. Um, so I really didn't have the opportunity to buy a lot of groceries. Um, healthy, good conscious groceries. Um, I didn't completely give up though, I mean, um, I think I had about 50 or $60 to spend for me, my husband, and my daughter. Uh, but I mean, we bought really good food. We bought uh, apples, pears, oranges, watermelon, rice, beans, um, potatoes, corn. Um, what else did we buy? Melon, figs. Um, I mean, yeah, like, I mean, we basically spent all of our grocery money on that. Um, but it's kind of been a rough a rough month uh, as far as uh, money goes. Um, but, you know, I mean, I'm going to own it. I mean, um, I'm not going to just give up or I'm not going to just throw in the towel. I mean, I'm obviously going to keep going. Um, you know, I'm waiting to see another situation just to see if I can get groceries. Um, and then, you know, my husband, he's actually at a gig right now. Uh, playing so he's also gonna buy some groceries too um, you know so I think I think we're okay you know uh, it's bound to happen at the beginning to fall off the wagon um, I mean I'm a little more blase when I don't have the money to afford the groceries and I'm just kind of like oh well whatever it's okay to eat unhealthy then I mean the the food options were kind of limited and um, they kind of ran out pretty fast. Uh, my appetite has actually decreased a lot since I've started to diet. Um, but I mean, my husband, he's a man, you know, men have appetites and it's perfectly cool. I mean, I'm really glad that he's bulking up on, you know, a more plant-based diet. You know, we've kind of been discussing the diet, uh, and I think he's kind of, kind of turning towards my thinking or... Um, well, really freely thinking because that's who I'm kind of modeling my diet after. And um, I think we're going to do this together. We're going to try to transition as a family onto this diet. <sighs> but I mean, I'm definitely paying for it. Um, I actually, I think uh, at the beginning, no, the second week that I started my diet, um, I started my period and it really left me very unmotivated. And I'm not really entirely sure what happened because I'm on my period again. And I mean, it doesn't hurt. I'm kind of tired. I'm a little cranky, but not that bad. Um, but it's heavier, I guess, than I would have expected it to be. Um, I remember I watched one of Freely's videos and she said that you know when you're eating bad foods you're gonna have a lot more clots and stuff and that's kind of what I'm going through right now um I'm not sure if the second period is because of that but um I definitely seemed a lot more regular when I was just eating uh a healthier diet so <sighs> hopefully these things come through soon uh so we can get back to it um, I really haven't been walking a lot this week, um, you know, and like I said, I'm not kind of just going at it full force, but I really feel like I should be. Um, I know that my little brother enjoyed it. I know my daughter enjoyed it. Um, our gas has kind of been scarce, so I mean, there's a park really close by, so there's no excuse for me to not walk, but I just think it's easier if there's some kind of fun distraction that will let me exercise and you know my my daughter can play and my little brother can play and it kind of just makes it easier on me um my husband's been really good about it though he's still running regularly 
Um, his eating has a lot been a lot better than mine. Um, my daughter, she's kind of half and half. So she's kind of modeling after me and my husband, but um, I will say that I'm probably eating more carbs. Um, I mean, my body hasn't fully adjusted to the diet, probably, and I'm still feeling those cravings, um, you know, around this time of the month where, you know, I just want to get sugar, carbs, and, you know, all the bad stuff, but, um, yeah, I mean, everything else has been really good, though. Um, my weight kind of is fluctuating more on the heavier side now. I'm kind of inching back to my original weight, which kind of sucks, but whose fault is it mine right so you know um the good thing though is that it's not a big difference um i mean it was really cool to see it go down but i'm gearing to get rid of it again because no we're not trying to go up we're trying to go down so hopefully we can get that situated um there was something else i wanted to mention Hmm. Well, yeah, I mean, um, I'm definitely going to start again with the walking. Um, um, I definitely want to do more. Oh, that's what, exactly what I wanted to mention. Because I know I mentioned some of my goals the last one of the, my last videos. Um, but I kind of wanted to cover something else in that skin. Um, that probably would be one of my goals is to improve my skin. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm wearing makeup right now, but I'm usually very blotchy. Um... Like, I mean, if you look really close up, you can tell. You know, I usually break out around here, and here, and here, here. Um, you know, I know hair might be a part of it, but there's also something else, which is um, on my arms. Um, I do have these little spots. Um, I can't remember the exact name of the condition right now, but uh, I've had it for pretty much as long as I've known my husband, which is a really long time. But just to give you a little preview of what they look like, uh, kind of like that. And they go all over the back of my arm. I hate it. I wish I had some skin. Um, I mean, my arms are a big problem area for me anyway because it's so hot here. And I feel like I always have to be wearing sweaters or three-quarter sleeves or long sleeves and I just don't feel comfortable with it. I have like these three little like lumpy things and I hate it too. So I definitely want to get rid of that. Um, and I think that's going to be my main focus right now. I know if I eat healthier um, that my skin will clear up and hopefully this condition will. I mean, uh, I've seen a lot of testimonies where skin has improved just with diet so I think that'll be my main focus now I mean I've been drinking a lot of water like that really hasn't changed much which is pretty pretty revolutionary considering that I was a tea junkie um, and a soda junkie like just I guess I just needed the caffeine I have chronic fatigue or chronic fatigue <laughs> but um, yeah, I think that's where I'm going to end it. That's my update. Sorry to be so disappointing. Um, but I am going to get back on that horse. And, you know, hopefully this is an inspiration. If you've fallen off the horse, that, you know, you can also join me in getting back on it and keeping up with it. So, once again, my name's Clarissa. Um, here we are to change together. And I'll see you next week. Let me know in the comments below how you're doing with your progress. And it's my daughter. <laughs> And if you uh, need any words of encouragement, I mean, we're here to do this together. So make it a good one and make every day count. Bye. Bye.